The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We have a guest this morning, uh, Arch Crawford from Crawford Perspectives will be on to talk to us. Wednesday, we will have Norm Winsky from Astro Trends. And I'm hoping to have uh, Stan Harley on this week. I've been uh, trying to contact him, and hopefully we'll have him on also. And then next week, we will have, uh, I think a week from today, we're going to have Rich Anderson and then also Cy Monley. So that's some of the things we got planned here uh, through the, the rest of the month. Uh, I posted the chart of the DAX index uh, last night. Uh, you know, the market opened higher. Uh, in the U.S., uh, around uh, three o'clock in the after, six o'clock in the afternoon, New York, and it sold off to be down quite a bit. Uh, this is what turned it. It was that DAX uh, making that three drive. That's my opinion, of course. Was that three drive pattern we had in the DAX right at the 61 percent retracement, and uh, we'll be able to see. So that's uh, pretty much what we're what we're looking at here. We'll be uh, we'll be having Arch on at our break here. He lives about uh, oh about two miles over where the crow flies, over towards Ventana Canyon, and uh, he will be uh, he'll be on. Uh, for, he's an early riser like me so uh, we'll see how, how that works out but he's a lot of fun to chat with and just be with those of you that have visited us here in Tucson we always try to include Arch as uh, you know our lunch and dinner guests so that we can all get together and meet some of the folks along with Carrie Szymanski and a few other guys that live around this area that are well, they're they're known in the community. They're not famous, but they're known in the uh, trading community. Um, the FTSE index, I don't know if I got to talk about that one here, but I want to bring it up here because uh, it's completed a big uh, ABCD pattern here uh, on the uh, four-hour chart. Uh, you'll notice that price up there at 63, 73.64. Remember, the old high was right at 8,000. So this is nothing more than a nice retracement pattern, you know, coming. So this could be a topping pattern uh, in the FTSE. We'll see if that's going to be the case. Folks, I don't know what's going to happen with stock index futures. All I can do is to tell you that, boy, uh, boy, that's not a good thing to say. The, the way... I have to tell you that, well, I right, better not do that. It's nothing nasty, but it was a, a very strange thing that happened to me once. Okay, let's move over here to show you, starting off with the Dow Jones Industrial Average. I'm just going to do the four-hour chart here. You'll see that we made this big Gartley pattern, uh, completing what, you know, Gartley said, sell the first ABCD correction in a bear market. This is the NASDAQ four-hour chart that I've uh, put up first. The next one I want to put up, of course, is the Dow Jones Industrial Average one. Wow. I have these labeled wrong. This is not a good sign. But we'll get this up here to take a look at it here. You'll be able to see the Dow Jones is actually, you know, it's only 30 stocks. But, boy, it does a good job because, I, you know, the whole financial world, you know, looks at this one for, uh, you know, what the market's going to be doing. You'll have to bear with me one second here because I have to be able to move this around just a little bit so that I can post a doggone thing. Give me one second. Oh, shucks. I'm having a little senior moment here, boys and girls. Give me a break here for just one second, and I will get this thing fixed. Whenever I click on this little dog dongle, it doesn't do well by me. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. Oh, shucks. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Just give me one second here. What am I doing wrong here? This is not right. Uh, here we go. There we go. There's the Dow Jones. I just wanted to show you that this is a definition of a downtrend, folks. You have three lower tops. Uh, absolutely, the first one comes in at the 78% level. Uh, the second one, the, the smaller one comes in at the 78% level, and then the larger one comes in at the 61% level. So you've got three lower tops. 
uh, and you've got several lower bottoms coming in here, it's telling us that we're looking at a potential for another 10% drop in the stock market um, you know, pretty soon. And we're coming into that seasonal that sometimes works, like most seasonal, and that is sell in May you know, and go away. So I will have to wait and see if that's going to happen. But we're seeing it in just about every, not just about, we're seeing it in every single stock market index. We're seeing it in the Dow Jones. We're seeing it in the NASDAQ. We're seeing it in the S&P 500. We're seeing it in the transportations. We're seeing it in the utilities. We're seeing it in the banking index. Now, if technical analysis means anything, this should bring some uh, uh, red lights out uh, to say, wow, maybe this thing is going to react uh, a little bit more than what we originally thought. So what we'd like to see here this morning is uh, we've had a pretty big, not a big drop, you know, 60, 70 points is nothing anymore in the Dow Jones, but it dropped 60, goes up 60. So if it closes badly today, uh, that would be a sign that, yes, we're probably going down. If we close really strongly, Above the highs that we made this past week, then all this is wrong. But boy, <laughs> I have to tell you this story because in 1970, I was working for Eli Lilly in in, in, a, in Indianapolis. I was in charge of cephalosporin antibiotics, and they sent me to Emory University down in Atlanta to see Dr. Harlan Stone, who was the chief of surgery. He had an ongoing fight with the director of medicine at Eli Lilly, and he would not use in, in Lilly antibiotics experimentally because he was so angry with Eli Lilly. They sent me down there to try to get him to use cephalosporin antibiotics, which were really great, but he didn't want to have anything to do with him. So I went down there. They gave me three days to try to see him, Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I tried all day Wednesday, all day Thursday. I didn't get to see him till Friday, and I waited till 1 o'clock in the afternoon on Friday. I was going to, you know, stay till late as I could, and I had a Saturday flight. And I told the secretary, I said, look, I said, I'm just going to come back at the end of the day, and I would like to uh, – you know, maybe if I get a chance to see him, because I'm going to go see the movie Airplane. It just came out. And I'm just going to do something fun. And I heard something from the other room. He said, send him in. And he, he says he wants to see you. walked in. He said, you're going to the movies? And I said, yeah, I'm going to go see the movie Airplane and with Dean Martin. And he said, oh, he said, I want to go. He said, let's get out of here. I said, you've got an office full of patients. He says, they'll wait. And he, we went to the movies. Then he got back, you know, about 4.30. He saw the patients, finished about 7 o'clock. He took me home to his house. And when I left that Saturday morning, I had a signed contract for cephalosporin antibiotics, and it basically made my short career at Eli Lilly. But the, the history of this is when I got to Atlanta, I had not been in the South because I'm just a country boy from Indiana. When I got to Atlanta and I got in the taxi cab, it's raining like crazy. And I got into the taxi cab, and there was a uh, black driver, and I said, boy, is it raining hard. And he reached around, and he grabbed my tie. He said, son, he said, don't you ever call me boy. And I said, oh, my goodness. I said, you got this all wrong. I said, I don't have any meaning like that. I said, that's just how I talk. And you caught me again, folks. I say it all the time. And the bad part of it is, is my little grandson still does it. He says, oh, boy, all the time. Anyway, 877-927-6648. The Taz Profile Scanner Plus, developed by John Logan and his team, is a standalone piece of software that can change the way you trade. Let the Taz Profile Scanner work for you by scanning over 5,000 financial instruments such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. Right now, you can get a 30-day free trial to the Taz Profile Scanner Plus right at TFNN.com. And when you sign up, you gain instant access to John Logan its most recent webinar, How Price, Volume, and Time Make Market Profile So Unique. This hour-long webinar with John Logan will walk you through the most powerful features of the scanner and how you can use it to become a more successful and profitable trader. You pay absolutely nothing for 30 days while you try out this software risk 
free. For more information on the Taz Profile Scanner and to get your 30-day free trial today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN. Dot com now. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Eddie Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high definition audio and video. Tiger TV exclusively at TFNN. FNN.com. Larry takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Okay, folks, I want to bring up the uh, chart here of the gold market because we've been at this level um, before, uh, about a month ago, um, middle of March. We're down at that 1325 level. Uh, what I suggest you do, uh, as uh, Twentyman says, defy human nature, you know, do the work yourself. Go look at a four-hour chart because uh, we're at a real critical level here at 1325. If we break below that, we've got a real chance at that 1285 level that we've been waiting for uh, for quite a bit. Now, I don't know whether it's going to happen or not, but nobody else does either. That's the, the beauty of this, because no one can see the future. The good part of technical analysis is it gives you a spot to put a, a trade on, and that you're able to quantify the risk. That's a really the good thing that it has going for it, because you can only do one thing in the risk-reward uh, equation that you can control, and that is your risk. You can't control how much the reward is going to be because you never know. But the one thing that is really important, I'd like to discuss this just a minute because uh, yeah, it, I just think it's just super important, and that is this chart here of the platinum because uh, you'll notice the platinum has had a, um, just over the, the past year, you'll, you'll see from February to May of last year, it dropped $150 uh, an ounce. Uh, and it also dropped $150 an ounce perfectly into from September through December. That made that large ABCD pattern. But I wanted to point it out, what happened after we made that last bottom, that three drive, we rallied all the way up, then we came down to a perfect 78% retracement. And then in the preceding three weeks, we made a perfect ABCD pattern at the exact 382 at 858 Wow, I'll try it again, Larry. 958.50 per ounce. We've now dropped over $30 an ounce in three trading days. That's not a good sign. Folks, if we break that low, that we made down here at 911 per ounce in platinum. That's going to tell you that's going to be high translation to the left, and that would be extremely bearish. 
because if we get below that, that means you're going to have another move very similar to the ones that we had in February and April and September and November. Those are 150. And if you take that 150 off of that, it's going to take you down to new low ground at around 861. So, and that would be equivalent to probably somewhere around that 12. 85 to 1265 in the gold market. Now, longer term, I still think we have a really good chance of being bullish in the gold uh, long term. But right now, after that big ABCD pattern that we made up there at the uh, uh, 1369 level, that to me was a you know a big a red flag, especially when you had a you know a big breakout type move, and then the market immediately drops ten dollars an ounce. It doesn't do that if it's really bullish. That usually follows through, and it didn't do that, and that was the indication, along with platinum hitting that 382, that told us that there's something is not right, something is rotten. So you got to be, you know, really careful. We have a question about the crude oil. Um, we were talking about crude oil uh, last week, about you know the potential of the strong resistance that we had up here at the $69 a barrel level. Uh, as you can see, we've now dropped uh, more than uh, $2 a barrel from the high. Uh, we should be coming in uh, to some support here uh, around the $66 um, per barrel level uh, in the crude oil if it's going to have any support at all. So uh, kind of keep an eye on that if it's going to. But it's got a really good uh, high pattern in there that could be very, very significant. And if you remember... So we might as well bring this up since our memories aren't like they used to be. We were looking at the heating oil, and it was not making new highs. It was making a double top. So that's a couple of things when you're looking at these different uh, things. That, like when you look at the crude oil, you've got to look at the heating oil because that's part of the thing. You also have to look at the gasoline. It had also was making a three-drive pattern. So when they fit together like that, it makes it uh, makes it uh, a lot easier. Okay, we've had a question about, uh, uh, wow, this is an amazing one. I haven't had this question before. I've got it ready to go, so just give me one second here, and we'll pull it up here so we can take a look at it. Someone's asked a question about the Turkish lira, and I just had this this morning, so let me bring it up here. I mean, I've never traded it, and uh, hold on one second here. And... Uh, there it is. I mean, it's uh, it has some nice, has a nice three drive pattern on the bottom there in September, which is really nice, and it has 50% uh, retracement and a 1.618 expansions. But you know, if you're going to trade the Turkish lira, you're going to have to have a lot of uh, 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 patience because uh, the spreads on those things can get really out of whack. I mean, they could really, you don't need to trade that. I mean, unless you're doing it for, you know, hedging and stuff like that. With the major six cross rates, you know, you look at the euro, the pound, the Swiss, the yen, the Canadian dollar, the Australian dollar, all of those make it uh, really nice to trade without having to worry about anything of uh, any nature of, uh, you know, Anything like that. Now, since we're talking about the Australian dollar, this is an interesting one because we have the same situation in the Australian dollar like we have in platinum. And let's just get this up here to take a look at it. Now, here's the Australian dollar. And if you remember, we were trying to buy this at 76.30. And now we've had the big rally that took uh, almost three weeks to get up to the 61% retracement at 78.20. And now we're down to 76.30 and change. We're all, we, we've taken out the lows of March. Now, what's interesting about that is that we've taken out the lows of March, but if there were no stops there, folks, then nothing really happened. And if you go back to look during November and December when we were doing that same type of pattern, look at the insert on the left, that's similar to what we had down at the 78% level. So we're, we're setting right at this 78% level. Uh, the only thing that's scary are these big down moves that we've had uh, Thursday, Friday, and, and, and of course we're down there today. But the fact that we d went down there this morning, let's just double check it right here. And uh, yeah, we're still there. We still haven't. We still haven't gone anywhere. The low has been uh, 36, 76.36. Uh, we just made a new low, 76.35. So what I'm doing is I'm watching the the price of 76.30. 
That's six pips away. Now you think, well, that's not very much, sixty dollars. Well, it's not the it's not the importance of the of the sixty dollars. It's what's going to happen to that market if we break below that level. You see, we went down and made lows uh, more than we did in March. Okay, but there were no stops there, <clears throat> which to me is quite quite amazing. Look what happened when we broke the broke the level in the T bonds, when we broke the 144 level in T bonds. They dropped two full points. Now the Australian dollar hasn't done that. So I'm just sharing a, a tiny bit of uh, uh, tape reading that I got from old uh, uh, Jesse Livermore is that, you know, if uh, prices don't go anywhere after they hit important spots, that's telling you something very, very important. So uh, that's all I'm doing is watching the importance of that 61%, uh, excuse me, 78% retracement in the Australian dollar down here at the 7630 um, uh, level. And we're trading at 7637 right now. I'm not going to give them $37 or $70, so we'll pay a pretty good uh, attention to this as we see this. One second here. And uh, oh, okay, we'll be right. No, I wasn't around. When, oh, I was, uh, yeah, I, I was born when Jesse was around, but he died in 51, I think. 877-927-6648. Larry Pesavento will be hosting a 90-minute webinar this coming Tuesday, April 24th for all Fibonacci 24-7 subscribers. Larry has teamed up with fellow trader Jim Bart Bartoloni for this informative 90-minute workshop, taking the ABCD pattern to the next level. Throughout this 90-minute live webinar, some of the topics Larry and Bart will be discussing include the origin of the 1.618, the golden mean, the relationship between numbers and cycles, time and price, the simple math behind market moves, and much, much more. This workshop will be archived if you can't attend live, and all new subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee when signing up for Fibonacci 24-7 so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to sign up for Fibonacci 24-7 today while gaining access to Larry and Bart's webinar taking the ABCD pattern to the next level, visit the front page of TFNN.com now. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customer capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and we've got our friend Arch Crawford of Crawford Perspectives on the line. Arch, how are you this morning? 
Uh, fine, just fine. Delighted to be here. Well, that's good. Arch, I've got a question. I was thinking of you uh, last night. And whatever happened to uh, Elaine Garzarelli that used to be on, um, you know, the old, uh, when CNBC, CNBC started out, is she still around? Uh, yes, she is. Um, I haven't corresponded with her much, but we have uh, been in touch in the last two or three months. Oh, okay. I didn't know if she was still doing because she's not on the uh, she's not on as a guest anymore. There, I I was just curious because I know she was a regular for for uh, my, uh, quite a few years. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, so Sam, we have a start out with the silver chart. We have uh, two questions uh, about silver, and one of them is, uh, what is your long term view in silver, and what is your short term view in silver? Well, I would say the long-term view um, that silver is probably one of the best investments, period, for the long term. Uh, it's so undervalued compared to uh, production versus usage and also mm -hmm. the, uh, the long-term charts. But it's got to break out of that triangle. Um, mm -hmm. the, both the gold and the silver have heavy overhead resistance which they must, you know, get over to start anything very positive. Uh, mm -hmm. But I think they will, they will definitely do it on the long term, but they could do it any day. <laughs> well, this is true. Sam, do you remember the, um, the old days back in the 70s and stuff when we had inflation and things? Do you ever think we're ever going to inflate again in order to take care of all this massive debt that we have? Then that would cause... I would think some pretty good moves in gold and silver, like it, you know, did you know 50 years ago. But things have changed a bit. So, what's your feeling on that? Do you think inflation will be coming so. back? I would agree. I would agree with you. I, I would think so. Um, of course, you don't know how much of it is, is uh, going to be the cryptocurrencies too are actually, um, but they have no intrinsic value, whereas the silver and gold have. Very solid intrinsic value. Mm -hmm. Well, I certainly agree with you on the silver and gold. That's uh, something that I've always really uh, liked to do. Uh, Arch, uh, what is your feeling on the uh, the stock market here? I want to bring up your charts from your uh, really very popular newsletter here, Crawford Perspectives, and maybe you could discuss what you're what you're seeing here in uh, some of these indices. Well, they're all uh, following similar pattern in that they. Uh, they all broke down. They all uh, didn't go quite as low in April as they did in February, uh, which is a, 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 a technical positive. But they came back up to the 50-day moving average. They all broke above the 50-day moving average, and now they've all failed at the 50-day mm -hmm. moving average. Mm -hmm. So I'd say there's... Um, some considerable danger, like right now, of going back and retesting at least the 200-day uh, moving average, which is now about, what, 6,200, 6,300 on the NASDAQ and about um, 2,600 on the SPX and about um, 2,350 or... So on the Dow Jones. Mm -hmm. We have a question from one of our listeners in New Jersey, and that is, uh, what is the chart for uh, this astrological chart for Donald Trump look like? If you if you do follow that, I, I'm not sure whether you do or not, but I know a lot of your friends do. Do you have a feeling on what his chart is? A positive or negative here for the 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 two term the, the the last two years? What do you think? I do not know. I have not looked at it. Um, okay. I don't do that much with personal charts, um, and I'm not even up to date on how the chart of the United States looks, but I can't imagine it would be highly positive with all the uh, disparate feelings going back and forth right now. Yeah. So I think one of the things uh, that is happening this entire month is that um, the three 
meanest, ugliest planets, uh, the three greater malefics, Mars, Saturn, and Pluto, are within 11 and a quarter degrees. Uh, on April the 2nd, the Mars hit Saturn and came within the pattern uh, of the tightest uh, alignment. Mm -hmm. And it will be there until Mars hits Pluto on the 26th, and then uh, the pattern will be dispersing somewhat for this year and come back with a, uh, with a vengeance in two years. Mm -hmm. What is your feeling? Uh, what is your? I'm oh, sorry for interrupting, Sam. Say, Go ahead. Um, um, the, when the Mars hits the Pluto on the 26th, is um, I said in the letter just explosive. That's all I put. But mm -hmm. it, it means in, in every possible way, and it can be deeply psychological, and it can be a terrorist act. It can be uh, a war starting somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's really ugly. And the United States has a history of April really bad things happening, particularly um, around the 19th, mm -hmm. which we have... Uh, gotten through with some unusual um, news patterns, but nothing um, bad enough to be, uh, to collapse us. But we're on the verge, uh, this uh, back and forth negatives with the, with the parties, and, and actually the parties are now the nationalists and the globalists. Mm -hmm. Whether they and they and they stay away from the fringe of the, the Democrats and Republicans, the Democrats are more uh, towards the globalists, and the Republicans are more towards the nationalists. But it's mm -hmm. it's not 100 percent along those lines. <laughs> yeah. We Sam, have, I don't know. We if have McCain and yeah. uh, Graham, who are very much that, uh, globalists on mm -hmm. the Republican side. I don't know if you remember this, Arch, but uh, we were we were chatting you know, a couple of years ago, and you were talking about uh, you know J. Edgar Hoover and stuff, and you you mentioned to us uh, there were four or five of us at uh, dinner that you said that the FBI was uh, probably the most political uh, uh, organization that the government had, and everybody laughed, and uh, it seems like some of that's coming true now. So that that was uh, that was really perceptive to to see that happening. Sam, I got one. One other question for you from one of our listeners, and that is about the, the Bradley model. You know, it's been working really good for several years, but the last few years, it's just been, uh, you know, quite a bit off. I mean, uh, do you have any feelings why that is because of the vertical move, or what is your, uh, do you have a, do you have an, uh, an opinion on it? Oh, we got to take a break, Arch. Can you t stay with us, and we'll be right back? All right. Got to Got to pay a few bills. Arch Crawford, Crawford Perspectives. Would you like exposure to the foreign currency markets without any downside risk to your principal? Then consider the Petro Currencies Market Safe CD from Everbank. This three year US dollar denominated CD leverages the performance of four equally weighted currencies from these top oil producing countries Brazil, Canada, Mexico, and Russia. This CD features a 200% leverage factor, which means that your potential upside payment will be double the currency's average performance at maturity with no cap if the currencies increase in value over the CD's term. And if the returns are negative, your principal's 100% protected. Returns are based on CD performance with no correlation to the price of oil, and there is no annual percentage yield or periodic rate of interest on this index CD. The April 19th funding deadline will be here before you know it. So call 1-855-750-4051 or visit everbank.com slash TFNN for the CD's term sheet and other important product details and disclosures. This advertisement is sponsored content. Everbank is a division of TIAA FSB member FDIC. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. 
On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day starting at 9 a.m. As Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade Think or Swim is now at 11 a.m. Followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts and keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, brought to you by Nadex, next on TFNN. Okay, we're back with our guest, Arch Crawford, Crawford Perspectives. And Sam, we're going to talk a little bit here about this gold chart that uh, you were kind enough to send us this weekly. Uh, boy, long term, this looks pretty bullish to me, Arch. What's your feeling? Um, I would say the same. Um, again, looking at the weekly, uh, let me put my weekly up. Mm -hmm. um, we have that similar picture to the silver in that it's a... Uh, rising uh, triangle with uh, and you go back further and this neckline of a huge bottoming pattern that's almost what four or five years long now mm -hmm. so we need to get a break above I think it's about 1363 or something that was the highest that we've had um, yet so far mm -hmm. and it, it breaks out on the upside and then I guess the central banks turn around and and kick it back down. So at some point, they're going to lose control of it, and that is the big issue. When will that happen? I think it. I think it's going to happen because I believe that all of the fiat currencies, which means fiat currencies that are not really backed by anything, and I don't think any of them are anymore. Mm -hmm. um, I have to. I'd have to agree with that. And uh, Arch, they'll all fail at some point, and it'll be a great international crisis, I think, that will lead to that. The best bet for that is uh, as we approach, Saturn approaches Pluto. Mm -hmm. um, we had, I think, the 87 crash the last time we had Saturn-Pluto combinant conjunction. And um, the sun is going to be with it. In, I'm looking at a chart here of uh, the 10th of January of 2020, um, and then a couple, couple of months after that, Mars is going to come up and hit the Saturn-Pluto conjunction really mm -hmm. tight. Now, this year, as, as I said, they're about 11 and a quarter degrees away between Saturn and Pluto, and Mars hit, hit the first one on, hit the Saturn on April 2nd. And it hits the Pluto on the 26th, which is three days from now, after which uh, that pattern will be breaking up. And maybe we'll have a better market for a while. Um, and um, when the Mars comes up against it, it'll be, what is it, March, April of 2020. Um, that where the really ugly pattern comes about. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if 
that will be the low of a long-term decline from now or not. But uh, this year, I think we'll have some more difficulties around the summer-fall eclipse pattern. So uh, mm -hmm. I'm watching that. And I think the, the um, hostility between the parties, we've never seen anything quite like this. And as we approach the November midterm elections, um, there'll be people trying to hold the market up to make Trump and, and the Republicans look better for that election. And there'll be people on the other side trying to mark, mark, <laughs> make the market <laughs> drop. Yeah, and and so it'll be bad for the Republicans. So yeah. it's a very complex pattern, and I don't know how it's going to work out for sure. But we should know more when we get into the those, those summer and fall eclipses. Yeah, I've never seen this much animosity across all boards, all, all areas of politics, and all of my years, but uh, uh, who knows. Uh, Sam, let's take a quick look here uh, at this U.S. dollar index that you were able to uh, send us. Uh, what is your feeling about the U.S. dollar here? Since interest rates are uh, appear to be going higher, you would think that that U.S. dollar would uh, start to rise. Y any thoughts on that? Oh, well, today it's breaking above the neckline. Have you got mm -hmm. the chart up? Yes, sir, I do. I certainly do. Okay, well, you see this huge pattern has been forming for about three years, and it broke down in January. Uh, this is a weekly chart, so about the third week of the year, it smacked down to almost 88, and it did actually hit 88 in, I think, early February. Um, it's been under, under that neckline the whole time, but usually... After a solid break of a neckline like that, it would usually tank, mm -hmm. go into the tank. And it's been holding and holding and holding. And today, it's breaking back above the 90 level and above that neckline. So I'm saying that we should at least have a rally attempt up to maybe the 92 level maybe even the 94 level if it's lucky. But mm -hmm. um, the pat overall pattern is very toppy, and I wouldn't be surprised to see at any day um, that it would turn back down and get really hit hard. But uh, so far, I would have to say the technicals have improved um, greatly a few days ago, and today's action is even more positive over the near term. Mm-hmm. Okay, the next one we want to cover is the uh, crude oil, and uh, you've got a beautiful channel here that nailed the top right up there at 69.90, and we've sold off about two dollars a barrel. Uh, what's your long-term feeling of uh, the oil market, uh, Sam? Oh, I wish I knew. Um, okay, well, make something up. <laughs> how, <laughs> there was, how about at the top? There was this huge triangle, and it broke down at about 90, 91, 92, and I stayed negative on it all the way down. Mm -hmm. And it went to 26, and then I guess I uh, reversed on it after it came back, made a pattern, and started coming back pretty good. So I have to stay positive on it now as long as it stays in the uptrend channel. Um, but I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> well, at this level, it's really in, in the midst of no man's land, pretty much. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Arch, how would the folks uh, reach you? It's CrawfordPerspectives.com? Yes, it is. Uh, that's the web page. If you uh, don't want to write out 31 letters, you can just uh, do a search engine on Arch Crawford and it should be the first or second or third thing that comes up. And the uh, we're in Tucson, Arizona. You can find the phone number easily enough. It's 520-577-1158. And the uh, email is CrawfordPerspectives at earthlink.net. Mm -hmm. Or just, uh, well... Yeah, that's, that's yeah. the uh, company email. 
Or Arch, I'm going to email you a picture of this uh, bobcat that we've got in our neighborhood. Uh, neighbor, He hangs out at our neighbor's uh, patio. He weighs about 45 pounds, and, boy, he's one mean-looking dude. I'll send it to you, and uh, you can get a big kick out of it. They used to roam the neighborhoods here, but you hardly— of course, you live you live out in the you're in more of a wooded area than I am. Do you see, do you see any javelinas and bobcats out where you are? Uh, yes. So I oh, have a bobcat. Wow. Okay, we got a yeah. walk by about ten feet away. They look in and walk. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and uh, I'm going to bring up the chart of the Treasury bonds here because this is by far the weakest of the um, charts that we have up here. The Australian dollar has now broken below um, that 76.30 level uh, quite a bit, so I would believe, uh, you know, 75.06 is not that far away, Bob, but I wouldn't. With those wide bars, that's what was so scary and why I featured it in the newsletter is that there's still no reason to really, you know, try to get in there because it was a perfect buy 
when it was at 75 or 42, but it missed 75, 30, and then it rallied. So we're going to be able to see it. It's just give me a second here. I want to bring up the Treasury bonds here so you can see this. Uh, if we go below that uh, 140, 142.15, the low was 142.19 today. If we close below 142.15 and you short those uh, Treasury bonds from when we, you know, put the short out at that 382 level, uh, you know, several months ago, well, it was quite a few months ago, and we did it again at 146. But if you get below that, uh, just I, I really think this thing has got a chance to really cascade to the downside. Look at the ABCD structure on this, folks. We're gonna we're gonna see interest rates. We're almost at three percent in the ten year now, and you're gonna be able to uh, uh, see rates uh, probably get back to the old level of four or five percent, not too distant future. And remember that the Federal Reserve follows these things. They seem like they set precedents, but it's the market that does it. So quantitative easing screwed things up, and I think that's going to be a, a big problem down the road. But that again, that's my opinion. But if you are short those bonds and you want to press it, uh, below 142.15 in those June bonds would be the time to do it. Uh, you wouldn't have to risk more than a point. Uh, from that level. What they're trying to do is to protect this 3% uh, 10-year note level that we hit this morning. That's a, that's a big deal, but boy, this chart's really bearish, folks. If it turns from here and becomes bullish, I'll take a ride on, um, on Mr. O'Brien's boat. 877-927-6648. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks!